Here in this code sample, we instantiate a simple XML element class. We pass over a name of a file. It can be a relative path or a full path. There is a file, its name is classroom.xml. And the second argument is optional, so we pass over null. The third argument, we should pass over true if um, the string passed over as the first argument is a name, a, a relative path to a file that holds the XML data, the XML file. If the first argument is the content of that file, then we should pass over false as the third argument. Then we get assigned to classroom variable a reference for a simple XML element object. That object has properties in according to the structure of the XML element, meaning that a student is a child of classroom and that's why we can refer the property student from the object that represents the whole document, the root element, the classroom element, and we actually refer a property which is a, 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 an array. We can iterate and that's exactly what happens here. Each iteration, $OB, uh, holds a reference for a simple XML element object that represents another student. And the same with uh, uh, the simple XML element object that represents a student. It, a student also has child name and birthday. So we can access the name property. We can also access the birthday property. And since uh, birthday is actually um, an XML element that has its own child, we can access each one of them, day, month, and year. And this is exactly what happens here. When we execute this code, this is the output we get.